uh, base Skyrim. I have never ever finished this game. <laughs> I've started it a few times. I usually find I get a bit overwhelmed or lost. And the scrolls are foretold of black wings in the cold. Oh, my PS5 uh, loads too quickly. We're going to watch the intro together. Yeah, I've loaded it up, played it a couple of times. I think I've maybe got like 10 hours in before. Drinking coffee. I always find that the quest lines just get too big, too broad, and I lose focus. So I thought this time I would try and see it through. I'm on PS5, so I've got no mods installed, nothing like that. It's just the uh, most up-to-date version of the base game. I assume it's the most up-to-date version, anyway. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Hello. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. The stolen that horse had been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. Capture you? Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last. There we go. We can read along. Thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. That driver sounds like, uh... Sure. Mara, Ewan McGregor. Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Probably. I think the Thalmor are like evil. I seem to remember having to like break into one of their houses at some point. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vlod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside with them. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Yes, Bit of responsible parenting there. Out of the Move it. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We work with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Storm. Nothing wrong with a good list. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not 
Oh no. Anyone else feel like running? Wait. No. You there. Step forward. I reckon I could make it. Who are you? Okay, so who do I want to be? An orc is pretty cool. The people of uh, Rothgarian and Dragontail Mountains, orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among them are finest in the empire and are fearsome when using their berserker rage. Redguard, the most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel. The Redguards of Hammerfell have a hardy, have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon an adrenaline rush in combat. Wood Elf, the clan folk of Western Vale and Wood Forests, also known as Bosmare, Wood elves make good scouts and thieves. There are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have natural resistances to both poisons and diseases. They can command animals to fight for them. These are all great. Kajit. Hailing from the province of uh, Elsewhere, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. Hello, Loppy Dav. How are you doing? Nice to see you. They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark at will and have unarmed claw attacks. <clears throat> Imperial. Natives of Cyrodiil. They have proved to be shrewd diplomats and ra uh, oh, traders. They are skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold co uh, coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. Um, you'll notice, Loppy Dav, that I'm on about a 10 second delay. That's because my internet is very slow. Um, if you know Skyrim and you know what's a good race, a uh, good species, sorry, to pick, uh, please let me know. High Elf, also known as Altmare in their homeland of Somerset Isle. The High Elves are most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon their highborn power to gener regenerate magicka quickly. Now that's cool. Dark Elf, also known as Dunmare in their homeland of Morrowind. Dark Elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They're naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. Quite like that. Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of High Rocks Bretons can boost a resistance to magic. Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. That's cool. Argonian. This reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the hissed skin to regenerate health very quickly. So Loppy Dav in my chat is saying, uh, Loppy Dav, who shout out by the way, has an excellent channel called Card Pillars that does uh, a lot of stack lands content and is a are you an indie dev, uh, Loppy Dav, or are you just a modder? Not that just a modder is a just thing at all. Are you a modder or you're an indie dev, or are you both? I think <clears throat> I haven't really decided what sort of build I want to go for. Um, I've inspired to do this by watching this Biffing Brit stream, so I think I want to go for something cool. So like either Orc, uh, Argonian or Khajiit. <laughs> Loppy Dab has some games, but they aren't that big and they are free. There's a cool one where you have to guess what colour you're looking at, which is harder than it sounds. Um, okay. Loppy, do you happen to know what is a good species for, like, sword and board? Like, sword and shield? Fighting? I guess that would probably be Orc, wouldn't it? Oh, I see. I should role play what I want to role play. Don't try to build. You, that's a good point. I think I'd like to be a skinny orc. So let's go for orc body uh, gender. I think I'm going to go for. Let's be a lady. <laughs> that's cool. Orc be a lady tonight. I think. <laughs> That's sex on Max. Let's look at the male priest. Oh, look at this guy. It's like uh, he's got like a firebender top knot there. 
I quite like that uh, that second male one. He's pretty cool, actually. Skin tone, I want to go like maximum green, and then wait, we're going to drop him down. Not be the stereotypical orc. Maybe to about... The stereotypical orc's like beefcake, right? Let's go to about here. Yeah. Oh. And then head. So complexion. I mean, the only person that's going to see this is me. He would be starving, though. He's been on the back of a cart for ages. Dirt. Uh, I don't really see that doing anything. I'll leave that. Dirt colour. Scars. Let's have a look at the scars. That's a mean little scar there. Put that one on. Oh, okay. So I like the original wall paint. I'm not sure I'm going to change that. That one's cool. Let's go with this one. And then, to be honest, I think I liked that original red. That dark black red. Face. Uh, I'm not going to change the face. I, I like the face. Eyes. No. Brow. No. Oh, maybe I can make the brow a bit more interesting. Look at those cool punk spikes. Punk spikes. That's his name. Mouth I'm happy with. <laughs> he is an edgy orc. I quite like his dreads mohawk, so I'll have a look at the others, but now we're gonna we're gonna stick with the OG hair. Dreads mohawk eyebrow spikes. Facial hair, let's see if we've got the Tony Stark option here. Nah. I quite liked him without the beard. Oh look at whoa, look at the Wolverine chops. <laughs> I think we're going to go with the Wolverine chops, actually. And then hair colour. I do like bright, like a bright pink. He kind of looks better with that black that he had. There's a deep jet black and then there's a lighter black. I think, yeah, that's cool. Uh, done. Fight, finish and name your character. What should I call him? Let's call him... Now, we're going to be the Dragonborn. The guy that got shot in front of us was called Rorik Stead. I don't want to go with a silly name. I usually, whenever I start this game, I always pick a silly name and then regret it. I think my last one, my last attempt was like something like Pineapple Dino, because I was uh, an Argonian. So let's go with Punk Spikes. <laughs> yeah, see, I want to go with Punk Spikes, but if I know that I'll get like five or six hours in, the story will start getting serious and I'll regret being called Punk Spikes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe I can take a variation on... Now, I'm thinking like punk... I'm really letting this flow through me, you know? So like cyberpunk, goth punk, fancy punk. Ah, uh, oh, I got it. Okay, so in D&D, &D, there's, there an NPC enemy called a Nothic, which is a wizard that got too into magic and uh, got done over. So I'm going to call him Noth Punk because I'm going with like a low magic, high combat build. But Noth Punk, Noth Pike. Here we go there. This is more like it. And this is kind of in keeping with like your Gormengast, uh, Mervyn Peak, who was the mentor to uh, Michael Moorcock, who wrote the books that Dungeons and Dragons were based on. He had a main character called Steerpike, who was kind of the antagonist in Gormengast, and I quite like Nothpike. So that's a combination of Nothic from D and D and Steerpike from Gormengast, and I think that's a good, nice bit of like etymology. Wait, is etymology words or is it entomology? Entomology is bugs, and etymology is words. I think, yeah, Nothpike. 
You from one of the strongholds, or bit of how my mind how did works you end up here? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Orsenio. Follow the Captain. What? Please, sir. You can bog off if you think I'm going to Orsinium. I'm gonna... I know I'm not playing with any mods, but I wish I'd installed that Thomas the Tank Engine one. Cloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Oh. Hello? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. <laughs> this guy makes me laugh. Come on! I haven't thought all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Chop. <laughs> Loppy Dab's like, I don't want to use a silly name, but I wish I'd had Thomas Tank Engine installed. I just love it. Beep, beep. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the orc. Oh. There it is again. Did you hear that? Alduin. I said Save me. Next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Yeah, so I am a Skyrim noob, but I've been watching loads of uh, the Spiffing Brit Skyrim streams. So I I have I, I know quite a bit about it, I just like haven't really invested my own time. There he is. Sentries. What do you see? Wow, Alduin is looking oh. shit. Now, I understand that I've got the option to pick like different people to follow or something. Ah! A horse. Have I played any other Elder Scrolls games? No. <laughs> I've, my girlfriend knows Oblivion really well. Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now. Okay, the option isn't now. It's later. Okay. Uh, obviously, tank engine through the wall. Ah. Fire. Fire! My hands are bound. See the inn on the other side. Jump through the roof and keep going. Okay, but how do I jump? Triangle. Okay. Point. Through here. Doing Hello, Hadvar. I know you. God, everyone get back. Run. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadvar. Come on, how are you? He's <laughs> he's such a Stay stocky dude. All. His chest is like. The same as my character's height. Quickly, follow me. Okay. Lead the way, pseudo Roman. Mages. Oh. Uh, what just happened? Did I get dragon shouted? Out of 
my way. We're escaping, Hanbar. You're, you're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that Randy takes you all the Sovereign Guard. You, come on. Into the keep. With okay, me. Hadbar. Let's go. I don't want to side with the Stormcloaks because they're a bunch of racists. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? Bring us of the end times. I think it was. Keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Sure. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. <laughs> you better get some gear. Loppy and chat's like the game's just showing off its uh, physics. See if one of these chests <laughs> Ragdoll is physics. Very 2011. 2012? 2011? Alright. Imperial Light Armor, Iron Sword, Light Boots, Helgen Keep Key. I get that armor on. Give that sword a few swings. How do I Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. Yeah, but how do I put my stuff on? How do I get into my inventory? Eh. Not like that. Although that's cool. There's my guy. Okay, right, so it's circle and then uh Items, apparel, light armor, light boots, weapons, iron sword. I'll have a look around here and see if there's a shield or anything. Might go into first person mode actually. Uh, helmet and four gold. Legendary, right. Uh, let's get that helmet on. Take a look Come at him. On, wow, what a lad. <laughs> I'm a soldier. Oh, okay. I will go around the room a little bit more. Do I want to be picking up bowls and stuff, or is that just crap? Tankards. Wine. Yes, please. Do I want a broom? Chest open, yeah. Empty. There's another one. Okay, how did I miss this? I want everything. Okay, I'll take everything. Won't I get like over encumbered if I do that? I've, I know before I used to co collect everything, and then when I to sell it, nobody had anything. Uh, I'm a greedy orc. <laughs> Give me everything. Read mixed unit tactics. Whoa. Do I want to be reading all of this? Tara, I'll skew through it. So if you're watching on the catch up video, you can just pause and read it yourself. Okay. Gold. I want the gold for sure. I'm not sure I want like every mop bucket and stuff that you could possibly pick up. Might get this cool skull. No. Okay, I think I've got enough stuff. Let's go and uh, let's go and kick some dragon butt. Come on, show yourself. Who are you? Whoa, dude! Not cool. Rude. <laughs> Loppy Dab's telling me that the mop Let bucket is the most powerful item in the game. I don't believe you. Whoa. That's oh, a chandelier shadow. Can I get in here? What's around here? Oh, that's to outside, okay. Let's go. Broom? I could just collect brooms. This needs some gardening. Oh, so I actually should get the mop bucket. Because then I can steal from the shop, is that right? Doesn't keep up, what are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen. 
shut up. I want a mop bucket, loser. Imperials have potions in here. We're going to need them. My, uh, 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 here we go. Bucket. All right, and I'll take this basket as well. See. So how do I actually like get it, uh, Misk? Mm, bucket. Cannot equip this item. So how do I actually like get the bucket out and put it on someone's head? Do you drop it and kind of pick it up somehow? Oh, uh, there's a speedrunner glitch apparently with the bucket, but I don't think I'll be exploiting that. Stormcloak! Take that, you racist. Okay, any money? Got any money? You got no money? Potion, wine. What happens if you drink wine? Oh, so, okay, so you put it out and it should have a button to drag objects. I think I might try that. Uh, weapons. Is it under misc wine? Food, okay. Restores 15 points of stamina. Oh, I won't drink that just yet. Magicka potion? Salt pile? Is food any good in this game? Does it restore anything? Like stamina or whatever? More wine. More wine. Search this barrel. Healing. Oh, loads of potions. That's good. In terms of role playing, my orc, Nothpike, is going to have my voice. Because <laughs> going around like this all the time, I'm going to forget to do it. I'd forget to do that during D&D as well. All right. Let's find a fork. Loppy Dad's telling me to pick up a fork. Excuse me, I need to sneeze. And apparently food restores HP. Fork. Okay, how do I... <laughs> I might do the orc voice occasion. Oh, okay, so if I hold down X, it'll let me, like, pick up a button. So, uh, I pick up a, an item. It looks like the forks aren't collectible, but the bowls are. Good to know. Very Half-Life. All right. I can work with that. Done that. Let's get out here and do some, do some Skyrim. Do some Skying. I'll tell you what, Loppy Dav, if you leave a like on my live stream, I will do... Uh... <laughs> I will do the orc voice occasionally. Oh no, who's that? Is this my friend? Leave me to my work. You fellows happened along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I'd been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Halyan. A dragon? Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear here. some odd noises coming from over there. Here, read come a book. With us. We need Bush. to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. The Book of the Dragonborn. Year 360 of the Third Era. 21st of the reign of His Majesty Pelagius IV. Oh my god, this book is too long. I ain't reading this, there's no pictures. I think it might be about... I think the book might be about me, Loppy Dab, yeah. Uh, the world eat awakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. When the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding. Yeah, whatever. Boring. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Forget right, the old man. I'll come with you. can unlock this. Wait a second. Do I need lockpicks? Like something in this cage. Uh, Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. An iron mace. Iron shield, yep, that's what I want. Right, let's get those that mace and shield equipped. Weapons. Mace. Uh, apparel iron shield. Take 
Okay, so I can block the shield, attack with mace. Solid. So apparently, uh, dragons are creations of the same god. Uh, okay, yeah. Where do I get lockpicks from? Here. I'm sure I've seen them before. I use them to pick these cages. Hmm. Oh, God, okay, I must have picked one up. So rotate the lockpick, blah, 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 blah. Oh. Nice. I'm getting a full lore dump from Loppy Dav in the chat. If you are watching this on Catch Up, do the chat replay. <laughs> you, can, you can read it all from him. Uh... Spell tome, sparks. How do I read that? Uh, books. Cool. I've learnt the spell sparks, which I'm probably never going to use. There's no way out that way. You know. Oh, whoops. Try again. Done. Anything good in here? Just bones. Useless. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lockpick on this one. Oh no, but will it level up my lockpicking? Because that's, that's good, isn't it? Cool. Uh, so I should steal this guy's clothes. That's that's sick. Can I like disenchant the clothes though and uh, get the power? Search knapsack, lockpick, Mona, Mona healing, blush. Uh, sorry, uh, Hadfar. I was uh, busy practicing lockpicking, so you can just wait. Ah, oh, sugar. Lock picking increased to 16. Nice. Um, from when I have actually like dabbled in this before, I seem to remember that, and also watching Spiff play it, I think you go to an enchanting table, you get the item, you go, uh, you hit X, and it'll like dismantle the item, and then you learn the ability to do that enchantment. I don't know if you need gems for that or what, but I think that's kind of how it works. Search skeleton, bone meal and gold. Where is he storing that gold? Don't want your robes, thank you. More gold, lovely. I don't know what you use bone meal for. If it's anything like Minecraft, you can grow stuff in your garden, maybe. Worry about yourself. Uh, I am worried about myself in so many ways. Oh, and thank you for liking my stream, Loppy Daff. I, I did see that message. Where in Oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me What are you just like? Just put the... Whoa! Flipping it. I'm in the water. I do not want to be... I do not want to be in the water. Bone meal is for alchemy, apparently. Okay, that makes sense. Let's uh, trash this guy from the back. How do I do like a power attack? Uh, Iron Warhammer, Stormcloak, Queerass. <laughs> Queerass. Uh, armor rating. Yeah, I don't want any of this. Do weapons deteriorate in this game? Great sword. No, I don't think I want a two-handed weapon. I think I want to go with, like, sword and board. Armour? I'm wearing armour. Look. Because, uh, look, this armour's all, like, 
trash compared to what I'm wearing. Apart from the gauntlets. Yeah, let's, in let's install the gauntlets. See if we can find a way out. You just killed the torturer's assistant, or did the other guys do that? Uh, this is all the same armor. Light braces, yes, please. All right, we're getting pretty kitted out here. Let's put the mace away. Come on, this way. Have a look at ourselves. Oh, I need to actually equip the clothing. Right, Bosch and. Oh, now the gauntlets are trash. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Let's drop these. And that. Let's see where this goes. Okay, let's see where it goes. Like the worst bridge ever made. Just run across it. That would be slippery as hell, I'm sure of it. It would be very humid down here. If I remember rightly, there's a bear down here somewhere. Hello, no. Okay. A spider. Holy crap. Your stamina is low, which may prevent you from spinting or using power attacks. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. I'm dying. I'm dying. Health low. Your health is low. You should drink a potion or use a healing spell to recover. Oh my gosh. How do I sprint? What was that? Yeah, you fight those guys, mate. I, I, need, uh, I need to heal. Potions. Minor healing. Stamina, that'll do. Nice. Have some of that. Alright, should we search these spideys? Frostbite venom, a blood freezing poison that does five points damage to health and stamina for four seconds. Can I put that on my weapon? Oh, so apparently I can heal in the middle of battle. Is that because it pauses? Silver ring. Frostbite venom. Iron arrow, frostbite venom. I need to get a bow, actually. That'd be good. Can I have his bow? Where are you? No. I hate those things. Too many eyes and something. Spider eggs. They might come in useful. We got like spell components or alchemy components. Yeah, uh, so let's have a look at the frostbite venom uh, ingredients. No. Um, 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 um. Is it misc? No. Food? No, potions? Oh, frostbite venom. Yeah, okay. In a convenient little bottle. What do I do? Use. Do you want to poison the iron mace? Yeah. Cool. Oh, so if I get in trouble uh, in a fight in future, just hit circle and heal. Okay. A bear! Hadvar, shoot it. It's dead. Bear claws, bear pelt. I feel like that'll come in useful. Yeah, it's a shame that I couldn't pick up the fork. Is that like uh, the most powerful item? Did you see that in a spiff video yourself? Because I think I saw that. 
in a Smith video. Uh, what's up here? Can I get up here? Ooh. Hey, I want to go here. Ah. Anything good here? Anything hidden here? Can I get out of that? Can I escape? Nope. Okay, that's completely pointless. Never mind. Worth a always worth a try, right? How do I sprint? <laughs> that's what I want to know. <laughs> I think uh, R1 is like the dragon shower, isn't it? When you when this you finally get those. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Oh, so apparently there is one instance of a place where you can pick up a fork and use it as a deadly weapon. I will watch out for him. Try and pick one up. Survival mode. Survival adds the need to eat, sleep and stay warm. It also adds additional challenges such as no fast travel, reduced carry weight and levelling up only when you sleep. See the survival mode entry in, the, in help for details. Enable survival mode. I think for this, like start a playthrough i think no i think we'll go with like game mode because i think it's going to be what? hard enough for me as it is uh, am i crouched looks like he's gone for good this time but i don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back the closest town from harry's riverwood we've got a trophy unbound I'm sure he'd help. video is paused uh your help today. No worries, mate. I'm going to pickpocket you. <laughs> Imagine pickpocketing him. That would be silly. I think he'd probably catch me. So I'm running around, got Imperial gear on, but I'm a, and I'm a cool orc. Noth Pike the orc. So where should I go from here, really? That's the decision. There's so much stuff on the map. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. You could really use someone like you. Okay. And if the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Join the Imperial Legion. Well, I guess I'll go do that then. Uh, where's the map? Oh, no, I don't want to wait. Nope. Map, map, map. How do I see the map? Uh, uh, map. Oh, okay, right. There it is. Uh, on the world map, locations that you've discovered have light icons, while locations you have only heard about have dark icons. You can select any location you have discovered to fast travel to it. Talk to Alvor in Riverwood. Go hunt something. Okay. Where's uh, Solitude? I feel like it's in the north, isn't it? There it is. It's quite far. Okay. Well, Lobby Dab's telling me to go hunt something which I will go and do I'm just going to take a two three minute break grab some water and I'll be right back
Oh, right, and a back. So. Go hunt something. I'll make my way to here, to Riverwood, and I'll hunt something on the way. I guess I'm hunting stuff with my mace. I want to harvest flowers. I don't know what I can make with that stuff. I'm guessing alchemy stuff. Let's have a look around for some animals. I guess I've technically already hunted a bear. I camp here. That's close See? Okay. Sorry. Leave those bandits alone. Riverwood, Falkreath, Helgen. We've just come from Helgen, haven't we? Where the where we escaped. Whoa, look at that up there. That's wicked. Okay. Uh Just follow this path for now. Now if I remember right, these stones give you a power. You can pick one of three. Guardian stones, thief stone, mage stone, warrior stone. Those under the sign of the warrior will learn all combat skills 20% faster. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. Awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Stuff. Maybe I can sell it, maybe I can cook with it, I don't really know. I'll collect that. Oh, this is quite peaceful. I couldn't find any animals, but I found some bandits and I ran away, <laughs> bravely ran away. Okay, what's this? Is this Riverwood? Hello everyone in chat. Uh, we've escaped the keep and we are about to go into Riverwood. What's this? Just some, just some wood. Welcome back, Loppy Dove. How are you doing? A chicken? A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? If you keep on like this, it'll only tell me. And I've got better things to do than this. It was a dragon! Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Uh, what do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Thalmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Okay. Uh, why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? From that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? 
When the Emperor was forced by the Talmor to outlaw Talos' worship, we didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. Sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. Interesting. Uh, what can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerdus family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. Okay. Uh, do you have any supplies I could take? Of course. Take what you need. Sweet. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? Just take his clothes. I'm not taking his clothes. Let's take some bread. Two carrots. Okay. <laughs> I'm just taking like all of his stuff. A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvo and I escaped together. What? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. It was a dragon. Hadvar will tell you the same thing. A dragon? Here in Skyrim? What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Cool. We're going to talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Uh, what can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious. But these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side in the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Uh... Who's Elisif? Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Uh, how do I get to White Run from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Okie dokie. Uh, supplies we've done. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. I absolutely the do not have the skill. <laughs> use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Thanks, right. uh, Alvor. Now, I do believe there's stuff here. Yeah, I saw this on another video. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Blacksmith Forge. The Blacksmith Forge is used to create new weapons and armor from raw materials. Okay, uh, I want to improve what I've already got, I think. Oh, okay, that's the same. Uh, grindstone. Use the grindstone to improve weapons. All improvements require specific materials which you can buy or find in the world. Well, we're going with the mace, so let's improve the mace. Craft. 
Do you want to improve this item? Yes, I do. Uh, I won't bother improving the sword because I'm just going to sort of go with the mace. Uh, steel, steel shield. Oh, I want that. Uh, maybe I can make one. Let's see what I can make. Uh, leather building materials. Oh, I don't know what you would use that for. Can you build houses? Okay, it looks like I can't make any thing. <laughs> leather strips. Ah, okay. Where do you get leather strips from? Here? The tanning rack is used to turn animal hides into leather and to cut leather into strips. Both leather and leather strips are used in creating and improving weapons and armor. Cool, so I've got some leather and some leather strips now. Let's see what armor we can make. Iron armor. Now I don't, I've no way of knowing what's like better than what I'm holding. Uh, armor 28. Okay, let's check what I'm holding, let's check what I'm wearing first. Imperial light armor, armor 25. It's not a huge, it's not a huge jump up, but I guess I need everything. Iron shield. I think I'm already carrying one of those. Go with iron armor for now. And uh, looks like I can't make anything else anyway. Let's pop that on. Cool. Yeah, I noticed that. So the light armor was like weight six and the iron armor is like weight thirty, so it's gonna make me slower, but but considering I don't know how to sprint, I guess it's not gonna affect me too badly. Sigrid, we have company. Uh does this mean I'm stealing it if it's in red, but I can take their gold? Fine. Like I can We've eat their so food. We've been worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down, and I'll get you something to eat. I'll have this gold. Helgen was destroyed. How did you get away? I don't know where to stop. You know, I was assigned to General Tully as a score. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A gentleman's guide to White Run. Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide. Within these pages. Hello, Talion, how are you doing? You've owned this game since 2014 and have yet to play it. <laughs> I have started it before, but I've never quite got to the got to the end. When your friend told me, I didn't believe it at first either. Morris Mercy. A dragon? In Helgen? Why, you could be here at any moment! I'm sure Riverwood will be alright, dear. When the Yara learns what's happened, he's sure to send soldiers. Go on, Hadvar. Let's hear the rest of it. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't... Or if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Take what you need, my friend. Within Hadvar, reason, of did you course. really see a dragon? I... What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, child. Don't pester your cousin. Just nicking all their stuff. Boots. Uh, okay, let's find a shop and see if we can sell off some of the uh, bits and bobs that we picked up. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. It looks like it's night time now.
Hello. Orgnar. Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Uh, can I use the alchemy lab? As you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together. See what happens. A little weed and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. So apparently the heavy armor makes me use more stamina in combat. Uh, that's okay, because I've got tons of, tons of wine. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Well, first I want to sell you all my stuff. Items above the divider line belong to the vendor. Items below the line belong to you. To buy or sell an item, select it and press X. Okay. So he'll only buy food. So let's sell a bunch of food. I'm keeping all the mead. Uh, sell that, sell that. And to keep all the like booze for the stamina regeneration, I think. Heard any rumors there lately? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Oh. Where can I learn more about magic? Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic, unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Well, there's lots of rumors. Lucan at the Riverwood Trader had his store broken into the other night. Oddly enough, barely anything's been stolen. All right, then. All right, where's this alchemy thing? Coming right up. You can create potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients that share a common effect. Experiment with different ingredients to learn their effects. Uh, blue mountain flower, uh, bone meal, and this. <laughs> Craft. Created potion of fortify conjuration. All right. Uh... Let's go with purple mountain flower, red mountain flower, blue mountain flower. Potion failed. Oh, okay. Thistle branch, spider egg, salt pile. Failed. Oh my gosh. Let's go with bone meal and mountain flower. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Potion of unknown Down. effect. Restore magicka. Cool. Bear claws and a mountain flower. Created poison of damage magicka regen. Okay, that's actually really good. So it then lists, once I've made something, it then lists under it what I can make out of it. That's cool. Spider egg. Thistle branch, mountain flower. Potion failed. Oh man. Potion of resist frost. Uh, spider egg seems to fail. Yeah. That's failed as well. Po created poison of ravage stamina. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I think I could probably use that on, like, dragons. Can I do two thistle branches? No. Quit alchemy. Awesome. We got uh, rooms and let's need buy a room. some Talk to take a look. Often.
Daedra heart? What? I don't think I can afford that. How much gold have I got? Don't have enough gold. Okay, I, I didn't see how much gold I've got, but let's right, go and yeah. make some more. Potions! Blister War. Uh, Thistle Branch. Oh man, I wasted it. Oh, that's upsetting. Failed. Created Poison of Damage Stamina. I'll see you later, Loppy Dad. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to be wrapping it up shortly anyway. All right. I used up all my ingredients and all my money. <laughs> Need something? This is all right. local favorite and... One of the first songs I ever learned. Cool. Well, let's uh, have a look at the quests here. And then I think I'm going to wrap it up here and then decide what to do for next time. So I've got Before the Storm, Talk to the Jarl of Whiterun and Talk to Alvor in Riverwood, which I've done. I've got Miscellaneous, Visit the Shrine of Azura, Visit the College of Winterhold, Talk to Aventus Aretino, Kill the Bandit Leader located at Silent Moon's Camp, or Join the Imperial Legion. So I guess we'll pick one of those and go Ragnar for it. the Red. I think I've also got to talk to this guy. Oh, there once was a hero named To get Rag like a follower. So uh we'll save. You save. The red who came riding. And I'll uh, I'll drop a quick save as well. Alright, well, um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Taily and Loppy Dav, nice to see you. Hope you're having a good day. And I'll uh, pick this up at some point over the weekend and we'll carry on. And if, you're, if you watch the video and you're enjoying the, the content or whatever, um, please consider leaving me a like. Um, and if you aren't subscribed already, drop me a subscribe and I'll see you next time too. Bye! So oh, sorry, wait, what I mean is... <laughs> what I mean is... Bye, see you next time. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor